No, not correct. So the vaccine either has a piece of mRNA, which is just a little instructional genetic material, or the Johnson & Johnson is a viral vector, so it's a little virus that has that mRNA in it. Neither of them is a full COVID virus that can infect a cell, reproduce, and create an infection. So the vaccine itself, while it helps to get people immune, does not cause the COVID infection. And somebody who gets vaccinated will not have a positive COVID test just because of the vaccine. It's possible. So people who get vaccinated, there's a chance that they'll get COVID. The chance is a lot less than someone who didn't get COVID. And if they do, it's very unlikely that they'll get seriously ill or die from it. But it is possible to get an infection. If you get an infection, it's possible to pass it on because you'll have the virus and the nasal secretions and the saliva. So again, it's still advised that people continue to wear masks and continue to keep distancing after vaccination. Not necessarily. There is some evidence that there is immunity after a COVID infection. We don't know how long it lasts. Uh, so it is still recommended that even people who've had COVID infections in the past do get vaccinated. There are cases of people who have had COVID infections in the past and they get reinfected. So we have good data on the vaccine that is effective and it helps to keep people protected. So it's still advisable to get the vaccine. It does not. It does have genetic material, mRNA, but the mRNA doesn't go inside the nucleus of the cell where the DNA is, that's our genetic code. The outside of the cell, outside of that uh, nucleus, is where the mRNA goes. And that's where the cell uses the mRNA just to make some protein. And then it gets rid of the mRNA. So it doesn't touch the genetic code in any way, shape, or form. We can't co directly compare the vaccines to each other. And there's a number of reasons for that that I'll get into. But bottom line is, the best vaccine to get is the one that's available to you. Whatever's available, go ahead and get it. Now, the reason we can't really do a meaningful comparison between these different vaccines is because they were done in, at different times with different groups of people. Between the different vaccines and the way they were studied, we cannot make direct comparisons to each other. They're all effective. They all get the job done. Most importantly, they keep people from getting hospitalized and keep people from dying, which is our main goal with vaccination. So again, whatever vaccine is available, that's the one you should get. There is no microchip in the COVID vaccine. If there were, it'd be really, really small because it has to fit through a really tiny needle. And really there's no point in that because your cell phone tells everybody where you are at any given time of the day. The microchip's purpose would probably be more along the lines of mind control because that's a higher yield for this kind of project. No, it's not. No, absolutely not. <laughs>